Hello darlings, it's Tess, and today I have a video that I've been looking forward to for years. I'm finally going to give you a detailed look at my mini altars in travel tins. The tins themselves once housed something from Crabtree and Evelyn, I think it was fudge, a Christmas present for my mother. I couldn't bring myself to recycle this tin and its colleague, so I kept it, and when I watched a YouTube video on travel altars, I thought it looked about the same as the Altoid tins everyone else seemed to have. I painted a little gold sun over the Crabtree and Evelyn logos, and off I went. I knew that plain inner lids would never do for me as an art witch, even if the content and exterior lids were so beautiful. I love the flowery aesthetic of the outside of the tin, but I wanted to bring in my own style for the inside so that when they were sitting with their lids open, which is what I planned to do, they could show off my work. Or really, because it's collage, it's other people's images that I like in there, it's just me who brings them together. So here we've got a candle in my power shade, of course. Especially now that Bridget gave me the Candle Magic Oracle card over and over, I know they belong in any of my altars. I also got the altar card a few times, hence why I'm showing you these with particular love. This is a spare card from the mini deck that I have, too cute to throw away, and I wanted to pay tribute to the retro icons of witchery, even if my aesthetic is altogether different. This bottle of herbs is also to acknowledge another element of witchcraft, one that I use less but wanted to include. It's one pinch of every single one of the herbs and flowers I have, along with salt and an amethyst chip. So there's rose petals, lavender, jasmine, violet leaf, marshmallow root, elderflowers, marigold, motherwort, lemon balm, peppermint, honeysuckle, non-white sage, and seaweed. This way I have a spell jar with any correspondence that I could have access to at home. This candy jar, because tiny things feel magic to me, but also to pay tribute to the Fae and offer them something bright. This rainbow quartz stone, because obviously, and this peace stone that I put a mandala on in a meditative state. I've been seeing white feathers everywhere for the whole of 2022, so I picked up a couple to pay tribute to that symbol. I also found out way after that that white feathers are a common altar offering to Celtic goddess Bridget of creativity, so there's that. Next up we have a tiny little grimoire that I made, another way to bring in the art magic. I made a mini grimoire of affirmations on this channel ages ago, and it's been on my altar ever since. Making this tin, I was seized with the urge to do it again. I had a lot of leftover fragments of printed content from my normal grimoires, so I echoed that to inform my mini altars as being just as important. So this end paper is some moon washi tape and a silver star, just paying tribute to celestial energy. The picture of me looking up at the celestial sky, <laughs> was taken by my dear friend Masha. We like to do photo shoots, and have done, long before Instagram was live. That's my personal sigil of my initials. It stands for lack of anxiety. The purple dragon is just who she is. This still is from Lore of Three, a Beltane-themed fashion film from a few years ago. It was co-produced by Rachel Burke, Eat Me Do, and Squint. It was a beautiful piece and a beautiful zine, so I decided to celebrate it in here. I Am Magic is an affirmation, obviously, and the origami fabric is some I have left over from a waistcoat I made, or rather, a waistcoat that I glued the fabric onto. Flow is an ephemera piece from my icon Molly Roberts, edged with starry night tape by Dear Vincent. Another affirmation there, with some potion bottle stickers there too. This little grid has me as a kid, a picture of a sprinkle ice cream cone I ate, an artist petri dish, and a cupcake sticker. I've been buying the same sheet of them for years. The other side is the day I got my black cauldron, along with some rainbow spell candles. 
This is my absolute favourite production still from my first original short, Tap. Shows off our set and the character Lucy's signature jacket and I just love the look on Indy's face as she contemplates all of us doing our thing. Last page is just a pretty patchwork that I found forever ago. The little guys are a gold pebble I made and a mini cake for the Fae and then amethysts for my wand stone and a peacock ore fragment for protection. The inner lid is actually one of my favourite collages I've ever done, and I made it on such a spur of the moment I can't even remember where the image is from. I forgot that, tell me if you know the artist, and why I printed it originally, but I flung it out of nowhere and put it onto this. I believe the glittery paper is the outside of a cracker from a few Christmases ago. I couldn't bear leaving it for the bin. The butterfly stickers are just from the newsagent. I like how I thought to cut those ones in half. Some of my collages take days, some just explode. These ones did. I think I spent a whole weekend just collaging like a demon the moment I decided to do them. I've done this with brooches, planner dividers, my gallery walls. Once I start, I just can't stop. I've got some of them back on the wall there as decoration. That's a good spot until I ever want to change out the ones on the current lids. The second tin was another flurry project. I just had so much fun making the first. Couldn't resist another. So first up we have a little broom for the Fae. I wanted to give them something different to a candy jar in the other tin. Here's another bottle with all my herbs in it. I described that purpose before. White feather, another synchronicity from this year, same as the other tin. Here's a Guatemalan worry doll, one of my fave things from childhood that I now recognise to be magical as hell. If you don't know what they are, you speak your worries to them and put them under your pillow, and in the morning they take your worries away. I included this little book from the same kit as the blank mini grimoires as part of my intention to learn more about the Zodiac because I'm kind of a bad witch in that way. A lot of normal people know far more about the Zodiac than me, lol. Another candle and some crystals, self-explanatory. Now on to the mini grimoire. Moon Washi on the cover and a cauldron from Closet Planner Addict. I'm glad to remember the artist because I don't always, even though a collage artist should keep constant track of who they sample. First spread is the other washi and paper and the bottom of the photo of me from the other grimoire. I'm wearing a dress from, I believe, the 40s or 50s, and honey, I treasure these pics of it because that does not fit your girl anymore. On the left there is a tree nymph artwork I found, and again, I lost track of the artist like a fool. I think I was doing a normal grimoire spread on the mythology of tree nymphs. The right page is part of a tarot card from the Our Tarot deck that I scanned and used. I think it was the Bronte sisters as Three of Cups. This is a Moomin stamp edged with purple flowers. Moomin is a Finnish cartoon that my brother's wife likes. Then good old Vincent Darling on the other page. Here we have just a pink Cosmos sticker and then a photo of a painter's supplies that I thought looked like a Wes Anderson shot. Witchified it with the broom. Great eyeball potion from another artist I forget. The Jacko Lantern is one I made with my dad in, I believe, 2019, so I like having him there as a memory. On the left, we just have pretty vintage paper and a potion bottle. Then the right hand side is a pomegranate in honor of Persephone. Here we have Goddess Bridget, who is becoming major to my practice at the moment. And then another one of the Rookie Mag Tarot cards that I have mentioned a thousand times before. This is an entire page of sticker bombing to show off this sheet from Closet Planner Addict. The patchwork background on the left is a Kath Kidston ad and the presents are just even more beautiful stickers from Closet Planner Addict. Flowery, washy and paper there too. This lid artwork was the cardboard sleeve that backed a sheet of outer space stickers. I love finding materials where other people might see trash. You know when I see a purple galaxy that I'm not going to let it go. Okay, my dears, there we go. A very long tour of two very small things, but what else do you expect from me when it comes to my art magic practice? I won't shut up. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I would absolutely die if you guys commented your thoughts about travel altars, making my mini books, collage, art witchcraft ideas, anything you want. These little guys are two of my favourite things I've ever made, so if you have anything to say, you would make my purple heart smile. Subscribe for more rainbow magical chaos from me, and remember, I love you, keep going. Mm -hmm.